Hi guys, and welcome back to Brielle's story. I'm actually really happy to be able to bring you guys this part because last time things got all sorts of messed up and crazy, so thank goodness I was actually able to get it figured out what was wrong. It was one of the mods that I used that was causing the glitch where they couldn't order the food. So fingers crossed because I actually haven't tested this yet. But I found it on the Sims forum that it was this specific mod that it, and a bunch of people were having the same issue. So I have it in good faith that that was what the issue was. So here we are back with these two. They've just been sitting watching some TV and we are about to go on that, br well, lunch slash dinner with uh, Hip Phoenix's sister, bell but this time we actually have not told phoenix about the pregnancy yet i wanted to save that for you guys see nothing <clears throat> i wanted to save that until i could do it on camera because if you cancel out the interaction the one that's forced they actually do have the proper um response to the pregnancy which I thought was kind of cool okay so we're gonna go ahead and tell him about the pregnancy and you know he is one of those sims that doesn't like children so I'm actually really happy that it actually counts as something from whenever they're pregnant and you can totally tell that she's pregnant that or he thinks that she's just magically gained some weight. So, she's gonna go ahead and tell them before their dinner with Bri- or, yeah. Before their dinner with Belle, because she plans on telling Belle as well. Okay, that's not even cool. Sometimes they have the bad reaction, I guess. Other times they don't. Because you have what? You're scratchy. See, this time, he was happy. Last time he wasn't. Okay. Well, I guess we're sticking with him being happy then, so long as this doesn't get messed up. She looks like she's about to get sick. See? Oh, I forgot to change things back around. Whoops, I'll have to do that next time. Or between parts or something. Anyway. We are going to go ahead and travel with Belle and Phoenix. It'll be nice. Hopefully. You know, and I'm actually really surprised that out of three times of telling Phoenix, he was happy about it two of those three times. So, that's a good thing. I need to add some more restaurants at some point. Instead of just having ours and Hogan's. Don't you just hate whenever you take a drink of water and then it feels like it goes down the wrong hole or something? So you end up like feeling you need to cough so bad. And then you try to cough and it comes out sounding like a forced cough and it sucks and it hurts your throat. I actually think I'm hurting my throat. <sighs> like I need to start. I think I've got like a small sinus infection going on. Reason I know for people who are gonna be all like, oh, you're self diagnosing. No, I just know the signs of a sinus infection because I have chronic sinus infections. So, we're gonna go to this table because I said that I wanted to go to that table the last time that we were here. So, we're gonna go to this table. Because I want the corner table. See, and I've seen people, like, their sims will have issues climbing up onto this, and they'll need stairs. But now, they're fine. And it's like, what? Aw, brother and sister sitting together. Are you gonna go sit down, Brielle? And I have saved before this, and I will save right now before I go and order, so hang on, guys. Okay, I've saved. Let's go ahead and try to order for table. I know, Brielle, you look like you're gonna be sick. Poor girl. Haha, <laughs> it worked. Okay, so it was the 
the mod that I used for anybody who watches this and for anybody who uses it and hasn't updated it yet, it was the UI Cheat Extensions mod that was doing it, and I completely forgot that I even had that mod in. So, now, Belle is a teenager, so she can't have any of the alcohol. Brielle can't have any alcohol, but he's gonna have some. So he's gonna have some sour punch. And... I think... Brielle is going to have a root beer float, and Belle is going to have coffee. And I think I said that Belle was a, well, the, 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 the. Belle was a vegetarian, and she's one of those vegetarians that will eat fish. So, we got her covered, hopefully. I think we're just going to have her have the butternut squash soup, though, because that's easy. Um, let's see... He's gonna want the more expensive stuff. He's got more expensive -y tastes. And I think Brielle is just going to get the BLT. And maybe they'll get dessert. I don't know. It depends on how long it takes for them to eat. So, there's that. Brielle's really hungry and her energy's going down a little bit quicker because she is pregnant and she's gonna share the news with Belle because she wants Belle to know because as I've said before she feels really close to Belle so and something that I also wanted to get out there while I'm recording and I'll probably put it in the about me section as well so that people can check there um, I am going to be doing an alternating like okay so this week we had Brielle's story Monday and Friday, with this one being the Friday one. We had the 100 Baby Challenge on Wednesday, and we had Sheltered on Tuesday and Thursday. And that's how it's mostly going to go, except for Brielle's story and the 100 Baby Challenge will probably flip-flop. So next week on Monday we're going to have the 100 Baby Challenge, and then Wednesday is going to be Brielle's story. And I might make that more of, like, the official lineup with Tuesday and Thursday being for any kind of other games that I want to play. I was thinking about, like I said in, like, one of the earlier Brielle Story videos, I want to do Danganronpa. And so I'll probably do, like, Sheltered on Tuesday and Danganronpa on Thursday. Or I'll flip-flop it every week to where it'll be two sheltered on this week and then two sheltered or two dung and run for next week or something like that. Um, I'm still working out the kinks. And then if I do any kind of like real talk videos, which is going to be more of the mental health variety and things that I've experienced and things that I've gone through and how I've coped and things like that, I will put those on the weekends. That or there'll be extra videos during the week. I haven't fully decided yet on that one. I was gonna do a separate channel for them, but I haven't decided fully yet on how I'm doing it. And if I have enough time, I plan on trying to record one of those after this part. But I don't know if I'll have enough time, so... Because I've had a pretty difficult week. And, see, this is why we came at 3, because we came at 3 and got sat down at 3, and it is now 5.30, and we still haven't been served our food. And we had better get our food next, because these guys showed up after us. So, and if they drop it, I'm gonna be mad. Watch them drop it, too, because I just said that. Nope, no dropping. Thank goodness. Here's your order. Enjoy. Love it. I wish that you could take pictures of all of the food and not just the certain, the experimental foods. So let's go ahead, go and eat, Brielle. You can see she's starting to get a little bit of a belly too. It's so cute. And Phoenix is just kind of over there like knocking back his drink being like, what have I got myself into? Poor him, huh? But that's what you get sometimes. And actually, I think I'm going to take a little screenshot. 
because I love this. It's kind of sweet. Get it all lined up properly. Get the plum bob out of there. And there we go. Ta-da. I actually really like taking screenshots in The Sims because they make it so easy and it's so nice. And it really can get gorgeous depending on your computer and if you can handle the new lighting. Because with the new lighting, the shadows and the light just look so much better. But we are going to see if we can't zoom through them finishing up. And they are done. I think what I'm going to do, they're going to have dessert. So I'm going to kind of like move all of the plates and cups away so that they can have room to put the dessert. Put that one there. And then have Brielle order dessert. Bring out cake. There's not enough room. Draw on placement. Oh man. 81 bucks. Let's see if we can't make it to 100. And it is kind of late, but it's been nice for them to get to spend this time with Belle. You know, just getting this time to spend with her and getting to know her better because she does understand everything and I think they are all going to get the classic vanilla cupcake. So let's hope that doesn't take too long. Wait, oh, okay. I thought that was Belle for a second flirting with her and not Phoenix and it was like, what? What are you doing? See, they're being really sweet to each other now. Very cute. And she's gonna tell him, you know, how much she really does love him. And, you know, she wants, she wants them to work. She wants them to be happy together. She wants, you know, why don't you go to the bathroom, honey? Honey bear. I always feel bad sending them to the bathroom because they're not sitting at the table. And I worry that it's going to screw something up. But I know it's not. Like, I know it's not going to mess anything up too bad, anyway. So, most of this part has been them at the restaurant. Which is nice, you know, sometimes it's nice to have parts where it's just them hanging out with people. But things are going to start getting a little bit more, you know, crazy as Brielle's pregnancy progresses. Because, you know, he didn't want kids. And I've said that before and I'll say it again, you know, he didn't want children. He didn't want to be a father. And, you know, in his mind, he's not, he's not sure if he's ready. He isn't sure if he can be a good dad because he's never really known he's never really had very good parents <coughs> oh, sorry about that dude there are two things there are two trays over there can we complain about service the chef is doing fine it's the waiter that's not and we're not going to wait too much longer for our food that kind of makes me mad because, you know, maybe he just needs to go to the bathroom. Maybe he'll do stuff like he's supposed to after that. Better I need to clean off the table better. Here. Did that just... No. No, it didn't. I thought it went to the wall. Uh, now they're good friends and she's not talking to anyone. Go ahead and discuss logic puzzles, I guess. And ask about her day. 
If it takes too much longer, we're just gonna leave because I'm not gonna wait forever for this waiter to do his job. Because he's sitting over there on his phone, just chilling on his phone, not doing his job. And that's kind of frustrating. You know, he hasn't cleaned up any of the plates at all. He's not taking orders to the table. So I think even though we paid for cupcakes, I think we're just going to leave. Oh. Well then. Let's go ahead. Who's calling yo? I hear this great party going down at the nightclub. Sure. You know, he's kind of in that mood and he really doesn't care that it's his mom. He'll just ditch his mom. Phoenix is not in the mood to go home and he doesn't want to have the, the talk about, you know, what are we doing from here? You know, he knows that it's gonna happen because, yeah, he wants to try to be a dad, but he's not sure if he wants to, and he's just, he's very back and forth about it. He's, he's not, he's not sticking to one thing or the other, and yeah, he's happy, but he's not sure if he can be a good dad, and it scares him, and he's not ready to talk about it, and, you know, he doesn't even know if he'll be ready to talk about it. So, oh, okay, hang on. Hopefully she went home. I don't know if she did. But he is not going to deal with his mom. He is going to go to the bathroom. And then he's going to blow money on alcohol. Which is not a good way to cope with things. But that's just how he is. Aww. He wants to get engaged, you guys. That is amazing. No, don't watch the dancer. Go to the bathroom. You know, I think that's really sweet that he does want to get married to her. He wants to get engaged. I think that that does kind of show that he does, he does want to commit to her and the baby. And... Maybe in the next part, we'll set that up. We will set up some kind of really nice engagement thing on the Sunday. And then maybe do like a shotgun wedding. I don't know. I want to be able to do a wedding whenever he's not at work. And I don't remember. Let's order a drink. Order drink. He likes the more expensive-y stuff. Ooh, soft shadow. Sure. The more expensive stuff is going to get you drunk quick, basically. And that's just who he is. And I'm sorry for all the sniffling, as I said before. I've got a little bit of a sinus infection going on. So. And I need to stop with the sniffling, so I'm going to try my best. But this basement is not the best kind of basement either, so. I wish that they had it so... Because, you know, everybody knows this is alcohol. Sorry about that. Getting a drink. Um, everybody knows that this is alcohol. You know, we're not dumb. This is wine. You know, I wish that there was some mod or something that would make it so that it actually is alcoholic. And, like, they would start getting different moodlets or something depending on how much they drank to kind of fit in with that but he's drinking a little bit and you know he told Brielle that he was gonna go hang out with his mom or something but that's not the case a fabulous finish from drinking nectar and he's actually gonna have one more and he actually is fairly tired <laughs> poor guy sure sweet and spicy and maybe he'll take a nap somewhere. Just pass out on something. Pass out on whatever this thing is. The little wooden ottoman. Just pass out. 
and he is a little bit tipsy now because he's already had oh wow fire he's already had like three alcoholic drinks now so life is good for him right now and I might just like switch to control to Brielle and let him do his thing here at this party go ahead and drink thank you I liked how in Sims 3 you could like specifically talk to the bartender like you wouldn't be able to talk to them normally you would have oh wow the party's almost no it's not lies I was like we just got here there's no way it's almost over but anyway so you know you could talk to the bartender specifically to talk to the bartender like tell them your worries and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and switch control to Brielle get her home and probably end the part there they are pro like Brielle's kind of a little bit upset that he did kind of ditch her like that <clears throat> she didn't say anything because Belle was there but she is a little bit upset that he just oh you know night out with my sister and bye guys see you later I'm gonna go do my own thing so she is gonna kinda talk to him about that and she didn't go home so we're gonna get her home and get her probably all set up for bed and then get that a going I don't think Belle is still here either since she came with us yeah no she left why do you have the party symbol you weren't at the party <laughs> How are you listening to DJ music? There is no DJ. He's even like that. Who ha Who the heck knows? Brielle is so beat. She's so tired. This is like her first time ever being pregnant and she kind of doesn't like it right now. <laughs> because she's tired. And she's just about as tired as Phoenix is, but she feels like it's more because of the pregnancy because she did take a nap earlier she woke up on her own with a full energy bar and she even took a nap earlier because like before i started recording so <clears throat> damn throat there we go we're home so i'm gonna have her go ahead and probably go to the bathroom and then we're gonna end this part and in the next part, we will see what becomes of Phoenix going out on Saturday night without her. Because she understands, you know, she can't go out to the parties and stuff because she's pregnant, you know. She can't go and she can't drink and, you know, there's not a lot that she can do. So she felt like it wasn't really worth it to go anyway. And... So she let him go. But we'll see what happens next time. We're pretty much done here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.